Today is gonna be a good day. It's a beautiful day. Today I'm gonna be eating recipes and ideas all from TikTok. Um, I've seen a lot of people do these videos and um, some it to do with eating like kind of recipes, life hacks, food hacks, all from TikTok. And I thought I'd do the same because I've kind of slightly didn't think I would become obsessed with TikTok. I find myself just on it when I don't realise somehow that happens. I'll stay up and I'll just be on it and I've never thought I'd be like that. To the person saying how can you be obsessed with just watching other people do dances or just do things. Yeah, the point is I'm now on the border of becoming quite obsessed with it and I need to snap out of it. But before I do snap out of it, why not take advantage of it? So the point of this video is I'm going to be eating um, food hacks from TikTok. I tried to find some kind of different ones and I've tried to stay slightly healthy but you'll find that, that hasn't really worked throughout this video. To find different ones that I've saw other people making their videos and um, just to mix it up a bit. But I'm also including um, some ones that are popular and I've seen quite a few other people do this in their videos but they just look too nice to not try so I've had to include them. Today I'm looking forward to including this because it is my cheat day, it's a Saturday. I thought what a better way to do the video. I'm going to try and do a breakfast kind of, breakfast, lunch and dinner kind of outline. Yeah but I found that some of them are quite small dishes or most of them are small dishes. It's more snacks that are the food hacks on TikTok. Um, I'm going to have a sweet breakfast. I'm going to have a Nutella toastie. We're going to go ahead and do breakfast even though it's a late breakfast. It's past Wednesday the afternoon now. Um, I'll show you the TikTok that I'm going off. This is what we're going off. So we're going to try and copy this, I'm going to go ahead, I think we've got Nutella, I think we have, we have some sort of chocolate spread if not, it would even be nice with peanut butter. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this now and then I'll update you how it tastes, I'm pretty sure it can't taste horrible, so. I don't know if it's just like really nice. And the fact that I just miss eating chocolate. Ten. Ten out of ten. I never even thought like it's weird because when you watch TikToks and you come across things like this, you think you never really think about doing stuff like that before watching it. It was just weird. It's just so simple but so nice. So I'm gonna go and get a shower and then I'm gonna make something that needs to be set, like frozen. Um, so it was like a snack for tonight, but I'll explain more when I get the shower and I've got obviously other meals But that was just a quick breakfast because I did a workout and I felt guilty about me eating so much rubbish today So I thought why not do a workout and then have chocolate Balanced diet isn't it? So yeah So for this next clip, there's actually no footage that I could find which really I thought I recorded it I thought I recorded me doing a clip saying what I was gonna make make next but I do end up saying that I made, they're called lean bars, um, which I had to freeze. But um, yeah, this is just me adding the ingredients. So it's Greek yogurt, honey, vanilla, and jam. I made these lean bars, I found it on TikTok, and I literally recorded a whole clip of me saying what I was going to make. Don't know where it went, but just thought it needed to be added in while I was actually doing it. <laughs> This is now going to go in the freezer 
yeah, update on how this goes because then you'll find out tonight. So I won't be able to eat before then because it won't be finished. But this is how it looks for now. So I've just finished making the lean bar things. I'm now going to have like a light kind of healthy-ish lunch. So I'm trying to keep to what I'd normally eat but do it TikTok style. Um, so I'm going to do an omelette in a cup, it's called. Um, and I'm just following it off a page on TikTok called tiktok.foods with three s's at the end on the need so um yeah i'm gonna go and make that i've got all the things that you need two eggs obviously what you want to put in the omelette so if you want cheese or like ham peppers onions and stuff so i think I've, if we've got peppers and onions i'll put them in maybe a bit of cheese we'll leave a mug so that was harder that was harder than i thought we have like no microwave for cups but I've just found one. So we're going to use this little Miss Charbox mug. Some cheese. Just a touch. Just thought I'd also mention that while I'm cutting things, I'm also just searched how to cut an onion properly because I... <laughs> I don't struggle, but I hate when your eyes water when you cut an onion. So hopefully this way will stop me from my eyes from watering. So I'm um, just following a page on upload at Eaton, it's called. So um, if you type in how to cut an onion, this apparently shows you how chefs cut onions properly. that onion and pepper that is so helpful the pages that i've told you that i found them on watch it if you're honestly stuck or you want to know because i didn't my eyes didn't water once when i cut that onion i'm actually my mind let's put the onions in so i put a few peppers in so that's what our mug looks like now and i'm gonna whisk it and show you what it looks like again now all we do is put it in the microwave 30 second intervals i think on full power i guess i'll just keep an eye on it and we'll just see how it goes so it's after the first 30 seconds i'm gonna give it a stir again and we go again i think it might take about three goes for it to properly be an omelette so this is after the second go so i think one more go we'll do this we'll give it a stir again for the second time it's a lot more harder this time Make sure, get all that runny egg noticeable. Ooh, it really has worked. Like, it literally is. Oh yeah, it smells so nice. It's ready to eat, so I'm gonna give it a go. Now, I can really smell the onion and cheese. That's so nice. That is. So, that doesn't taste like an omelet though. That tastes like a, it tastes like a pasty that I'd get from the farm bakery. That is so nice. I feel like I could eat four of these. It's a good, like, quick before work breakfast or pre post workout. I'd recommend using pepper, onion, and a bit of cheese. You saw how much cheese I used. I really didn't need that much because you can really taste it when it's. I don't know if it's because it's been used in this, but it tastes so nice. I have to shove it in the house. So, I'd give. And um, this morning I said a 10 out of 10 for the chocolate toasty, but compared to this, it, this blows the toasty out of water completely. Because it's more simple to make, like people know kind of ways around making the toasty, but I think because I was such on a sugar high and like the chocolate, I kind of thought it was 10 out of 10 out of time. And now I'd probably say the idea and the taste as a whole was probably a 7 out of 10. And I'd recommend, I'd say this here is a 9.5. And different ingredients, it would hit 10 mark. I feel like it could be a 10 though. It's that nice. I don't know, I don't know what's making me so impressive an omelette being in the cup or the taste. But I'm definitely, definitely going to be having this more. I'm going to go and show this idea to my mum and dad and sister because I think they're going to be very impressed. But that camera is such a weird angle. I feel like everyone else is going to be very impressed with this as well. Um, 
So yeah, I'm gonna go and show everyone what I've made. So, it's been hours since the last clip. It's now eight o'clock. Wow, well, where's time gone? I've literally been editing the video because she bid me for I've edited a video to go up tomorrow. Turns out I never, so I've had to get all the stuff on my camera onto my phone, which took hours to transport for some reason. Don't even know if that's the right word, probably not. My phone onto my laptop, so I feel like I'm really slow and I'm like, now I've stepped away from my laptop, I'm coming back to real life. I'm carrying the video and I've gotta eat and I wanna eat. What do we have on the menu? So we're gonna have a few ch choices and foods to eat for tea, dinner, tea. I was going to make a quesadilla, so now that's called from the last video I've uploaded. A wrap with cheese, ham, and egg. But I don't know if to have egg in it, which is kind of like the main ingredient of what the whole hack is about. But I also have was going to make cheesy bites, which I wasn't going to make, but then I was going to make. Because basically, we have the ingredients in the house, and my sister's made them, but I don't know how to actually make them, so she said to watch the TikTok and to include it in the video because one, they're tasty, and two, it's good content. Why can't I think? I can't believe you had to like, stop the camera from recording for about a good five minutes. Honestly, that's what being on laptop from technology just yet. I've got three things to make, but I don't know if to just make them all because two of them are quite small so the cheesy bite things are i could only make a few of them mac and cheese in a mug i don't know what's wrong with me like i keep making things in a mug i made the omelet in the mug before and the quality was like the main part it was also going to be a breakfast idea well breakfast is gone now so we're having it for tea we have all the ingredients it took about 20 minutes what we got there we've got our oh, baby bells breadcrumbs flour an egg. Follow a TikTok. The TikTok I'm following, if you want to know, um, is this one to start with. I realise something. So, I think I really don't know how to cook. What's this? That? Yeah. Well, I just put oil in the pan. Okay. You just oil in the pan, just keep flipping them over like. Right, so I've just finished making them and they're here. I'm not gonna lie, that was a bit of a heated situation. I got, oops, that's my video uploaded. A bit of heated and stressed out a bit, because that's what I get like with cooking. I'm gonna try them right now. Oh my God, they feel so nice. Mmm, they taste unreal. Well, I've just changed them, I'm gonna be obese. That's gonna be the thumbnail. One part of my tea done. I just feel like this one. I just want to eat them all now for my tea. I'm gonna eat them all. Like I want to just have about twenty of these for my tea. They went down three. Let's see if I can find your something without egg. Right. So if you type it on TikTok, cheese and ham wrap or quesadilla, then it comes up. But you put the egg in first and the wrap. Then you kind of just put the cheese and ham somewhere in between. But I don't want to do the egg. So I'm just going to flip the wrap a couple of times, get it a bit soggy and nice and soft. Then I'm going to add the cheese and ham and hopefully it melts. So that's the end of the game. I'm doing it without egg. Yummy. Just finish making the quesadilla wrap, well, at the end of the day, it's just cheese and ham wrap. So I'm gonna give it a try. I don't really know how to fold it. Mmm. I like that. I'm gonna cut some off my the quesadilla. Well, wrap. A 8 out of 10. So now I've ate um, my tea. I was string my water and I was thinking. I have water literally every day for every meal, all day. There's only drink hacks. Um, I knew there was like coffee, iced coffee or whipped coffee going around that was trending. I'm not really a coffee kind of person. It makes me kind of ill. I like iced coffee. 
I just thought I wouldn't be able to settle if I have it now as well. So I'm going to try and attempt to make strawberry milk. I'm going to need strawberries, a bit of sugar, or honey, and milk. And apparently just a strawberry milk, and it's very nice. I'm gonna try coconut milk because I think it might go nice with the flavour of strawberries but also it's a bit healthier and I don't like normal milk. I either have soy milk or this so I'm gonna go for the coconut option. Mmm, that's nice. Let me try the strawberries. That is really nice. I'm gonna go and give give my mum and dad a try. I think I really like that. I drank that and I put maybe a ten. So nice. I drank that in like not even two minutes. So um we just got the thing that I made up for called nice. lean bars that I say. Nice, it says yogurt. Yeah. Or not. It does actually a bit like ice cream. I thought because it was frozen it might taste a bit like plain. Maybe the fruit adds well, a bit more. Picking, yeah. yeah, I don't think it's fully. This is what I ended up looking like anyway. Um, called Lean Bars on TikTok if you want to get the recipe. It's really simple. I've said the ingredients on here anyway. I'm going to cut myself a bit off now and try it. And if it's successful, I'm going to put it on Sister Sculpin, which is like the nutrition and fitness page on Instagram. Um, and yeah. Oh, what's it doing? And um, hopefully it's a success and I can try it again because it's healthy, it's like a healthy snack. So, yeah. Right, so before bed, I'm doing one more thing. Like, I can do it with normal cookies, but I thought we have Oreos in the house, we might as well use them. Just like an Oreo mug cake, and you fill up the cup with Oreos for enough for it to kind of work. I use soy milk, so I prefer it to normal milk. I can't really have normal milk without it hitting my stomach. And then we fill this. Up, just above where the Oreos sit. Gonna mush up the Oreos. I think we put it in for 30 second intervals, but I'm gonna have to check really quickly. As people just put it in for like a minute straight away. So I'll put it in for a minute and we'll see how it goes and see if it works or not. So it's starting to bubble in the microwave. So. Oh wow. Like gooey than what I intended it to be like. So it's like nice and thick. I think the problem was I put too much milk in. But I think if I let it cool now, it'll go nice and thick. So I've just realised I not added a clip after I did the Oreo mug cake thing. And basically, I really liked it and I ended up going to sleep. But the whole point is I really enjoyed it. And I thought I must have dreamt this, but I rated it a 10 out of 10 because it was so nice. Highly recommend just thought I'd add it in because it's a bit pointless me not reviewing the whole thing. Um, so yeah, 10 out of 10, I'd recommend you trying the Oreo mug cake. I hope you all have enjoyed watching me spend my day eating all TikTok kind of recipes and hacks. I've discovered a few things today that I know that I'll be using even when I'm calorie counting because obviously it's my cheat day today. We'll be able to like do the cheesy bites for example and still count my calories. Like, it won't affect my day that much because dairy and um, the cheese itself is low calories and it's just easy enough to work around it but even the cost of the, the cheese and ham like this easy as it is making it in the pan it tastes so much different and so much nicer but i'll definitely be doing those omelette mug things in the mornings when i'm hungry and just want something quick to make but yeah overall i've took a lot away from this video and i've enjoyed it and i've been able to eat pretty much what i want thank you all for watching and if you want more videos like this oh and also follow my tiktok it's lmc underscore official i think i'll leave it on screen anyway uploaded and remade some of the videos that i've seen other people do for the food hacks myself on my page and yeah i might have some sort of other tiktok video coming very soon because i'm pretty much getting obsessed with it at the minute i'm spending all day on it every day thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye Love it girls across the nation that'll eat this up Babe, I know that it's your song, but could you better leave?